Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Okami. In the last episode we started the game and in this episode, real quick, first thing I want to do is open up our options. Apparently, there's literally right there. It's right there and I didn't see it. So, oh, you can set it to the left or right. I, I don't know why I thought it, but I thought only the right Joy-Con had motion. I'm going to set it to the right since I'm right-handed. Um, I guess we'll leave everything as it is. I also thought this had no difference, but no, it just shows the same screen for both of them. So I'm going to stick with what it is since I, I guess I'm kind of used to it. Okay. Uh, no, that's how it is. No worries. Okay. So now... Oh, that works like a charm. Holy moly, that feels good. Ooh, let me try to... What the? Somebody use, use a celestial brush technique while I wasn't looking? Yeah. Let me just... Boom. <laughs> there's a there's a good old signature for you. This feels super refined. Like, um... One, I did, I did play Fortnite. Sorry about it. A little bit on the Switch, just to see how it was. Didn't like it, obviously. But uh, it implemented gyro controls, and oh my god, they felt the clunkiest I've ever felt mo motion controls feel. So, it's glad to see that it's not just a problem with the Switch in terms of motion controls. And obviously I knew that, since I've played hundreds and hundreds of hours of Splatoon. I, I know the the uh, gyro controls for this system is really good. It was just so surprising to see a game do it so badly. Also, another thing that I uh, figured out in between episodes is that if you dash and keep moving, you enter... I guess it's a tackle and then keep moving. You enter a dashing state and then you slowly speed up as you go on. Stray beats. Find all the scattered beads and get a special reward. Okay. Um, that worries me. Hold on. Do we have, like, a collectible thing for that? Uh, stray beads. Wow, look at that. It's right there. Also, logbook. Uh, this just tells you the last thing you were doing, which is really good. I'm assuming this is a long game, so a little summary wouldn't be terrible. Uh, travel tips. There are few places in this wide world where I've not set foot. My travels have granted me extensive knowledge. There's 17 text boxes. I've endeavored to record this knowledge in a series of scrolls. Press Y to destroy big... Yeah. Okay, from a tackle, you can initiate a dash if you keep the left stick held down, which is awesome. Obstacles be left over. Press B firmly to jump to greater heights. We went through that. Uh, use the right stick to adjust the camera angle. L to... Change the camera's relative distance. Love that. Map is displayed on the main screen when you press ZL. Okay. Certain areas are inaccessible until you obtain a map. Try The preceding tip should be of great value to your quest. So I'm assuming that's the end. Uh, stray beads. Oh, there's, there's, a, there's 99 stray beads. And seems like we got one out of one in this area. So, boom. That's all. And that's a map. Okay. Boom, there's a map. Wow, that makes things easy. I am glad that's there. Learning the stuff of the game. Uh, I think we've gotten through most of it at this point, so I think we should be set to, uh, to trailblaze from now on. Okay, run into that wall. I feel like the dashing is going to get a, take a little bit to get used to. Also, backtracking back to the save point and back here, I did get a bit more yen. So that's great. Secret. So I'm assuming this is going to be a secret-filled game, because we just found that treasure chest to add a bead. Ooh, we got dumplings. Doughy balls made from grain. I'm assu like, from that, we know that there's basically going to be... It seems almost like a gold sculptula type of situation. I said I wasn't going to compare it to Zelda, because I didn't want to. It's just clone is such an aggressive word, you know? Like, let me try to think of another example. Like, people call Overwatch a TF2 clone. No. No, just because they're both FPSs based on teams does not make them clones. The, the word clone bothers me a lot when it comes to video games. Is this... Is this the legendary shrine? We must be in the cave of Nagi. 
The legendary hero Nagi is enshrined here. He vanquished evil 100 years ago with the help of the White Wolf, Shiranui. First the River of the he Heavens, and now this place. I always expect it to be like Havens. Where the heck are we, Furball? Boy, this place is a wreck. See, that sword's in a really bad shape. The gods sure didn't do much to protect this place. Yeah, I guess so. Or maybe they broke it on purpose. Uh, we have rejuvenation, right? Is that a... Is that a fixed thing? Oh, it's only letting me draw on it. Look at how well that does. Oh, it feels so good. Y'all don't know how good this feels. That's the best feeling motion controls I've ever had. That really was your brushwork all this time. How'd you get so good? Exactly who are you, anyway? For some reason I can't fast forward the text anymore. Hey, there's another constellation. I wonder if that has anything to do with the color of the text box, because it's green now. This one looks like a... Mouse? Boom. Oh, see how much faster that is? Oh, that's so good. Oh, it feels great. Slashy boy. Well, well, well. If it isn't Mother Matarasu. Well, this is white and I can't fast forward it. It's been a long time, but with all these monsters around, the only place I could hide was in this shrine dedicated to an ancient hero. If there's anything I can do to assist you in your endeavors, I'm at your service. Make good use of this sword, as it was designed to conquer evil. You're gonna give us the sword? I'm assuming that's an art, not a new weapon. Like each of these constellation dealios are going to be like an art, right? Hey, that was the god Tachigami. Dangerously close to Tamagotchi. The master of the power, power slash technique. Wait a minute, if you're getting all these god powers, then you're just like that Shiranui. You know, the wolf who fought and died alongside the great Nagi? When Shiranui died, the wolf's power was split into the 13 brush gods. This is crazy. Shiranui and Nagi? It's just like the legend. Well, anyway, I've never seen this power slash technique myself. How about showing your stuff off on that boulder over there? Let me see you slice it in half by drawing a single line. I won't believe it till I see it. So, hold on. Am I... We probably have a bit more dialogue. Wow! I didn't think you had it in you, Furball. I'm not even in the same league as you. Guess I really overestimated myself. Hey, at least you admitted it. Hey, Furball. Uh, I mean, Amaterasu. I've made up my mind. If you're Shiranui you were born, then all, that means you can master all 13 techniques, right? In that case, I think I'll tag along with you until I'm as good as you. Lucky you. So, here, okay. Still dialogue. It's no use trying to change my mind. There's no stopping me once I've made my decision. But enough about me, now that you've mastered the power slash. You can cut down that thing Saki I was talking about. Let's go back and give it a shot. So we have a we have a slashy boy now. Okay. So what I was saying, I guess the story here is Shiranui was the original brush god, right? And now we're one of the 13 brush gods that split off from that, Amaterasu. Which I'm assuming you'd think would have a uh, a brush technique unique to us, right? If there's 13 brush techniques and we're one of the 13 gods that split off from Shiranui. I don't know if I'm just going nuts here. Is that not gonna open? I don't think you could fit through here. Why don't you use your new power on it? Give it a good clean stroke. Okay, well I tried to. Oh, do you see how smooth that is as compared to like Ugh, and it's so much quick. Oh, I just cut down an entire tree. This is a shrine. I'm so sorry. Can I just cut anything I want? Also, I'm completely out of, uh... Oh, they give you items. Oh, okay. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I'm all about this life. Give me all the peaches. Ooh. We're getting collectibles out the wazoo. Gonna press L here. So we can also cut pots with these, which is nice, since the dashing is fairly... Hello, what the? Where'd they come from? Ah, uh, whatever. Draw first, ask questions later, right? You know that divine instrument you have on your back? Well, press the Y button to use its power against them. Okay. One... Look, Ami. Once you've caught them off guard and turned them black and white, 
They're easy prey for your brush, no matter how nasty they are. Grab your brush and give them a power slash. Gotcha. Huh. Okay, that counts, so it's at least a little forgiving with it. So whenever they turn gray, and then they drop little ink bottles. Bottle of ink fills one of Amaterasu's ink pots. Seems like they fill pretty quickly. I'm not sure how useful that will really be. Results. Oh, wow, we get a lot of money for that. 640? Yeesh. Okay, well, I'm gonna cut things, if you don't mind. I'm literally gonna cut everything this darn place allows me to. A gourd. That's both many uses. Okay, we're really filling that astral pouch. Pout. Ugh, I can't speak. That astral pouch. Do, do these drop items, too, if I cut them? Because the other ones didn't. I'm assuming they might. Also, it almost looked like it went to full screen, but that was literally just something, like, covering the screen. I did, I think I did see a few rocks on the path leading up. So maybe we got some secrets. Ooh, can I cut the grass? I can. Oh, and it all drops items. Radish. Pure white spear spherical vegetable. It's spherical. We got Chinese cabbage. Kabatsu, Kabatsu, Kabatsu. A carrot. Oh, that's a ginseng. Okay, I didn't actually know what a ginseng looked like. I'm not sure if that's quite accurate to what a ginseng actually is, but, uh... Okay, definitely gotta cut grass. More bad boys. Can I, like, cut them right when I... I can. I can cut them literally the moment I do all the damage to them. Kabatsu, Kabatsu, Kabatsu! They really did it. I mean, fine, came out way after this. Potato. Dry but satisfyingly flav flavorable. Flavorable? Flavorful. So, time and damage. Am I, am I to assume those are rankings? Because that's kind of what it's looking like. Oh my gosh, I'm going to get so many items from cutting down stuff. Do I have like an item log of sorts? Not an equipment. That's our weapons. We got the Holy Bone S for like healing item. Astral Pouch. We can't open that. Uh, here we got Power Slash. Oh, that's really pretty. And is it me or do these almost look like those, uh, those, like, title splashes you get in Call of Duty for putting behind your name when you kill someone? We got a bestiary. Okay, so enemies. Rude monkey-like creatures that harass and tease humans. That's not very nice. Whether frightening the locals or causing outbreaks of disease, these troublemakers have proven to be the bane of humanity. Said to hide in gloomy places, they are portrayed as flautists. So they play the flute. We, we all know demons that play the, fl the flute, don't we? Uh, I thought there would be like an item inventory in the logbook. It doesn't seem that like there is one. So, I mean, it's telling us whenever we pick up new items, so I figured there would be like some kind of item list, but it's not looking like it. I'm gonna have to get used to- I wish you could, like, uh, set the- the normal- the- the normal camera setting to, uh, this pulled back one. Cause I don't know. Just for me, particularly, it feels so much better. You know, we gotta cut that stuff. As long as we're not, like, running out of ink, that didn't work. As long as we're not running out of ink, I don't care. It's plus, it's not like, it doesn't seem like it's going to be too tight. Also, I also don't know how important it is that we get all these, like, food items. 25. Is that, like, full? Got grapes. No. Juicy fruit picked from a vine. Oh, you can even drop money from those? Okay. Oh, I can't jump down from here. Oh, I have to jump to jump down. Okay. Interesting. My main, like, I don't know how important it is that I fill this up, because it feels like it's going to be just a tiny bit time-consuming. Oh, we should definitely save. Like, it feels like it's going to be a tiny bit time-consuming, always cutting stuff down. I'm going to make a second save, just in case. You never know. One hour and 14 minutes. Uh, good noting that half of that time is just having the game on in between recordings. Like, look at that. We just got, like, five food items for nothing. I feel like I just hacked the game. I'm getting all this food from the grass, and I'm assuming cut the peach. All right.
Ooh. I feel like one of the defining factors of this game, at least from, like, the art that I've seen over the years, is, like, flower petals. Flower petals, cherry blossom petals specifically, a lot of the time, is, like, the iconography of this game. And so far from what I've seen in in-game, that's so true. Flowers everywhere, and I'm loving it. I'm living for it. Wow, the village has been restored. Sakia came through big time. She really was protecting the village. But I sure wish I spent some more time on her kimono. If you know what I mean. I don't. Please explain in full length. But seriously, with monsters running around and all, the village could still be in danger. Let's go and see how they're doing down there. Okay, but uh, not before I ruin the scenery. Bing! Oh, just got two of them. I guess I probably have to be within a certain distance, right? I'm not going to destroy all the scenery. We couldn't We couldn't bear to do that. Plus, you never know when you're going to run into a fight, so I guess I don't want to up and waste all of my ink. Can't cut that. Yo. What in the world? I don't remember there being a statue here. Well, whatever. Let's go talk to the villagers. Uh... Is that like a status symbol above his head? He's a stone. I, th I feel like that's the same kind of, uh, hold on. I gotta know, can it be cut? It so can, good to know. I feel like pretty much everything's gonna be able to be cut in this game. All right, what's up? Oh, they're all statues. That's what's up. Hey, there's a statue here too. It's like the villagers have turned into stone or something. Was that supposed to be a roar or like, oh, we just discovered something bad noise? Not again. They've been st stoned before. It's not one of the smaller monsters that's lurking about. Oh, that was a roar. A roar like that's got to be something much bigger. Let's hurry up and find somebody with a pulse around here. Um, I'm not sure we will. I was about to say, hopefully there's not close enough to cut that statue in half. No good. This one's not moving. Everyone around here was perfectly fine a few hours ago. There's definitely something strange going on here. The village is back up, but what's up with the dark sky? Maybe it's dark outside the village too? Let's find some high ground so we can take a look. Okay. Oh, it wants me to go back. Okay. I'm assuming this is going to be that other path that we saw. I just kind of wanted to stay on the main path for now, and then we could go exploring a little later when we have, like much more available to us. There's definitely something strange going on. Bark. Let's find some hot. Okay, you're just saying the same thing that we just did. It's like a little mud pile here. I do like the screen whenever the HUD's not on screen, for sure. So, so barking brings up the HUD. Okay, <laughs> there actually is a use to it. This is bad. The sun's not even shining. It's as black as the night, as far as the eye can see. And not a single villager can move a muscle. Is it some kind of curse? Did a monster do this? It's not going to stay like this forever, is it? If only the sun were out to light our way. If you could draw a circle in the sky, we'd have ourselves a sun. But I guess that's, that'd be impossible, even for a god like you. Maybe we'd better seek out another brush god for help. Of course, if you had that kind of power from the start, that'd be a different story. Oh, was I literally right? Huh, that that does it? Alright. What the? Hmm, come to think of it, your name is Amaterasu. That's the name of the sun god. Okay, yeah, someone was saying Amaterasu was sun god, not Okami. Okami. So it followed that you had sunrise technique from the start. I was literally right. On the money. With it, you could even turn night into day. Wow, you're no run-of-the-mill god, that's for sure. The flowing brush is like music from the heavens. That, that's a line from one of my grandfather's poems. He felt a skilled artist was like a musician of shape of color and color. Since you're such a great artist yourself, why don't we name your brush work after the poem of his? It's called Celestial Brush. After all, your brush did bring out the sun. Well, Amy, let's get back to the village. Gotta see if the villagers are back to normal now. I'd hope so. Nope, oh, there you go. Hmm, who are you? I am dog. That boy got an orange. Village elder, Mr. Or- Well, the name fits. A white wolf? Not the one who fought 
that terrible creature with Nagi. You couldn't possibly be the legendary Shuinui. No, it can't be. That story is a hundred years old. Still, you look a lot like that statue of Shiranui. Is this through his eyes? Can he not see our red markings? On the other hand, you don't look quite as smart. Rude. And then we killed him. Whoa, no need to growl like that. Can you really understand what I'm saying? Well, I'm not one to mince words. I just state the facts. Okay. He also can't see our weapon. That wasn't there either, I think. It's the boys with the flutes. Well, that's that same art that was on their monster bio. Hmm? What's this sudden chill? Down my spine. Here they come, furball. Those are the monsters that have been plaguing these lands. I mean, we fought them before. They sneak into villages and call, cause all sorts of trouble. For some reason, I just have a lisp right now. Don't don't mind it. Step aside for a ball. This is a job for my trusty sword, Denko Maru. I'm sure it'll be great. Oh, we literally did just kill the guy. Made sure the orange was on his head as well. Had to make sure that snapped back onto place like a Lego. Okay, here we go. Oh. Okay. Oh. Hold on, did we... Did we accidentally slash a dude who wasn't, like, meant to die yet? Oh, I think we messed that up. I mean, we still got perfect ranks. I'll take it. We're gonna be rich by the end of this. Holy moly. And then there was water. So that's what that weird hole in the ground was. What's that? Wow, you really get aggressive when you're mad, don't you? Hey, you got yourself some praise. And look, see how that dried up spring began flowing again? That's because ridding an area of monsters restores the god's power to the land. People call it divine intervention. The more you restore the land to its natural beauty, the more praise you'll get. It's the source of your power. Few people believe in gods these days, and that may weaken you, but if you try real hard, your true power might just shine, just might shine through. But boy, there's been a lot of monsters around lately. And that Mr. Orange you tossed around up on the sacred deck. Looks like he thinks you're a regular wolf. Seems the gods have grown so weak people can't see them anymore. Okay, so I'm assuming the red markings indicate a god. Or something like that. Even to the people. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Oh, uh, anyway, I'll show you around the village. I have a feeling we're in for an epic adventure. This should be fun, furball. I kind of wish ZR was activating the brush, because that's a... It, it just feels like a more natural button to press, I guess. Feedback seeds. Freshly, freshly roasted seeds that seed loving animals can't desist. Seeds that seed loving animal. Okay, like animals that love seeds. Why, you little devil, look at this sweet grub you found. Hey, wait, this is animal food. Still, I wish we, we could save it to give to animals. Let's use it when we try to approach animals later. Something good might come out of it, using it the right way. I know gods aren't supposed to use creatures in this manner. But what the heck, let's make an exception this time. Oh, I almost forgot, there was something I wanted to tell you. Whenever you want to check the items you obtained, just press the plus button to open the fan menu. While the fan menu's open, you can check to use the items you have. There's other things you can do there too. The fan menu is your key to a success successful adventure. Cool, what's this in the water? Spirit Globe. Humanity, Faith, Made Solid, Restores a Little Solar Energy. So these are healing things. Okay, so so what do we have for items right now? It's in Tool. Okay, it's, well, it's not. Hold on. What were those? Wait, no, what did I just do? Oh, is the praise like experience? Oh, you can upgrade things. And I think you need a certain amount of praise to upgrade something. Okay. I'm, I'm glad it didn't automatic, like, permanently put it towards solar energy. Okay, I think I understand that already. Yeah, it doesn't show those healing items we saw earlier. Maybe they just do it like they're the ink pots where they do it there in the moment, and it's not like a usable item. What's that? Does that look weird? 
What is that? Huh. Oh, auto jumped. There's birds here. I can feed them! Oh, goodness me. You know we're doing it. Oh, this is pretty. I can vibe with this. This looks like one of those scenes in movies where it's like the happy time and like two people are like dancing in the flowers. Does this, does this end? There's a skip option. Uh, I can't do anything. I'm assuming we just skip it. That's kind of weird if that's kind of the default you have to do. Oh, that gave us prey, okay. So every time we find animal food, that's like an opportunity to get praise, basically. Is that like in the bestiary or something? Animal tome. Okay. These tiny birds eat seeds in an adorable manner. Uh, I can't go to the second page. Is it one of those things where you have to like feed them like 10 times to get all the information on them? Maybe. Yo, sup. Woof. Ah, great Shiranui. Oh no. Okay, so he, I guess he knows I'm Shiranui or something now. So, the people aren't stoned anymore. I feel it. I sense it. Foul beasts dwell in this place. Concentrate. Look hard. You see? Right behind you now. Oh, okay. So I'm just gonna hit him three times and slash, right? That's the... That's the combo here. Gonna make sure I don't get that other guy in it. Just so I don't like mess up the the in, the order of things, I feel like you have to slash them at the end. Otherwise, like it throws off your your combo meter or something. Humans are not witness to such battles, but I saw it. The fighting went on for exactly 11 seconds. Hmm, you fight well. I've chosen the path of Buddha, but I, in you I sense another power, and I see the path you have chosen is also a path of truth. Okay, seven more praise. I'm assuming we can't upgrade until it's like 50 praise. All right, also what bite? Why? Okay. So some NPCs are going to like start battles. So it seems like I have to be like prepared for anything. Just about at all times. Can I cut the pumpkin boys? These aren't pumpkins. No, these are orange. I'm assuming this is Mr. Orange's house. Home of the Elder. Yep. Mr. Orange lives here. He's a regular village celebrity. Cool. Well, I am going to end it there after I cut this rock. That rock does not want to be cut. I thought I saw something shining back here. Yeah, I'm going to end it there. Also, you auto jump over fences, which seems weird to me. Since uh, we are a bit up in time, it seems like we're going to start getting into the meat of the game here. We've exited the tutorial level. I see a peach up there. That's fun. If I, like, draw a circle, does that do, like, a sun move? I don't know. It's just, like, surprising how accurate this is. Especially coming from, like, the Wii. Because, like... You know, this game released on the Wii, right? The Wii and the PS2. I cannot imagine playing this without motion controls. At least some form of it. Because this feels so good compared to, like, this. That feels so bad. But then you have, like, you can go so much quicker. Boom, a circle. Uh, boom, a line. Uh, boom. Um, some other stuff. It's great. Anyway, no, enough of the just fawning over it. See you all in the next episode when we check out the village. See you all then, and goodbye.